Yeah, you are welcome to my channel. Today we will be solving a question on auxiliary projection, auxiliary projection of a frostum of a pyramid. The pyramid is as shown, and we are to draw auxiliary plan in the direction of arrow P and auxiliary elevation in the direction of arrow Q. So and part of the question is for us to complete the plan we draw the given view and complete the plan so let us start in doing this you always it's always good to start from the from the plan so you draw a circle of because distance across flat is the same thing as diameter of a circle so you draw a circle of diameter 88 but because we are doing it to a rich scale of 1 to 2 1 to 2 so all the dimension will be reduced by half so that means the, di the diameter will now be 88 and radius will be 22 so you measure 22 on your compass this is 22 22 you draw a circle of radius 22 let's pick a point let's pick this point we draw a circle there of radius 22 now we have a circle of radius 22 so because it is sitting on one of its side and it says distance across flat so the implication is that we are going to have tangential line at the top and, and bottom that's how to draw a hexagon given distance across flat then you now use 60 degree set square this portion is our 60 degree place it like this and draw tangential line to the circle so just touch it shift it and draw it to this other side so just touch it then you rotate it and draw this other one to so just touch it, shift it here and do the last one to so just touch the circle. So that is our circle of uh, sorry, our, our hexagon. So you can take out the outline so that it is obvious. So that is the hexagon. Now you draw the diagonal with thin lines for now. Thin lines. This, this other one. Thin line. Now we look the elevation extend it a little bit up like this so let us extend the center first the thin line so take this corner to the top take this corner to the top as well take this to the top this one then you can now measure the given height which is 106 and half of it will be 53 so you measure 53 from the center 10 20 30 40 50 53 will be here so you can now take the other ones to that point of 53 this like this and finally like this and the cutting plane is at 45 degrees to the horizontal and it is cutting it at 20 so what you do is you measure remember 20 we have to scale it so that will be 10 you measure 10 here put the point and 
you now use your t-square to transfer that point to this side okay the point here and now then you use your 45 degrees square, square to draw it 45 degrees square, square like that so that is the cutting plane like that so now the next thing is to draw the complete plan to draw the complete plan let us label our hexagon let's say this is one two three four five six so definitely this place will be one here we have two and six two and six when you take them up here we take this one we have three and five and here we have only four so let's see at the top here we can use four prime here at this corner we have three prime five prime at this corner we have two prime six prime and here we have one prime so let us take one down we take you no know, let's start from four we take four to meet four we drop four downward you can see this is four it's meeting four here like this look at that point now we have three and five here we bring it vertically downward vertically downward like this it is meeting three here and it is meeting five here then you take six vertically downward six that is two and six it's meeting two here and meeting as you can see this is six this is two so and finally we have one you can see this is one it's coming down to meet one you can see this is one here so you can now join with your ruler we are not using french curve to join because it is a plane shape that all the sides are, are straight it has edges not curve Assuming it is a comb or a cylinder, that is when you join with French curve. So you can now take in from here to here. Very, very important. Taking this one. Taking this. This one thick. This one. And this portion. Then in between, you can make it, you can shade the inside. But let us leave that for now. So we we'll quickly move to drawing the auxiliary auxiliary plan. So to draw the auxiliary plan, is that we have been told that it is inclined at 45 degrees. So we we'll use 45 degrees set square. 45 degrees set square. Now let us start with the bottom. We want to, but we have to work on the bottom separately. And work on the cut section separately so let us we don't need to measure any angle because it's 45 degree that is inclined to and we are using 45 degrees set square so you just draw directly move it a little bit down just draw directly i'm working on the bottom first so we have done this the next thing we can extend it a little bit more so that our auxiliary plan will be out of our orthographic plan it can be separated so one two three four here yeah. so you can now draw a perpendicular line to this to get our xy line get our xy line put it on it like this shift it a little bit away it has shifted it has shaped it shook make sure you place it very well slide it a little bit away from it now turn this one around and put it to draw this so you can make it longer because you see yeah like this so now we are working on this we take our dimension from this one so what you do is we need to create this extend all these sides out extend it out 
extend the center to out and extend the bottom to out the reason why i'm doing only this is because